Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is August 10, 2021. And today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the markets continue to waver on lighter trading volume. It is summer trading. With that said, there's no major economic events scheduled for today. But as we look at the various markets, we're watching the euro trade lower in terms of its lighter volume. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones trickles lower as well, while the Nasdaq has a small bounce, like looking at the commodities, gold pretty much consolidating and oil bouncing as well. Now, looking at the stocks, Microsoft trades lower, while Alcoa remaining strong and green on the day. Lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin holds its gain and does not retrace. So let's take a look at the market to see what we can expect from today's trading. So you got to keep yourself really in check and really have very, very healthy uh, anticipation of what's going on in the markets, because really we are in very light trading volume environment right now. Now we're going to start out with the Euro USD. You can see pretty much how much it's flatlined. We're looking at a 15 minute chart and pretty much, I mean, that is like a five to 10 pip move, you know, just within the, fr the first part of the day and since last night. So we're really consolidating on very light volume. Now, if we look at the Aussie USD as well, did gain a little bit yesterday, but again, like it's, it's flat. Okay. GBP USD also gaining a little bit, but that's only after the dollar has gained uh, versus the pairs as well. Now jumping into commodities because not much is happening in currencies. First, looking at gold, gold is consolidating in 1737 after its massive V formation last week. Okay, and we did have a little bit of uh, capitulation to 1744, but it is showing some weakness here, even though it's bouncing right here. Now, looking at oil, it did bounce to 6745 from its low of 65. That's a decent bounce as we're looking at the price of oil. Now, if we do close this gap, this may be a resistance ish level at 6770. So keep that in mind. Now, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones tapering off yesterday, just below 35,000 at 24,964. And again, I mean, this is really just sideways trading. This is not with character, very light volume, very quiet kind of day. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, we did get that bounce yesterday. Okay, if we look at a 30 minute chart, that was from the low of yesterday. And then from Friday until now, we've gained quite decently of about a hundred and something points. But again, it's very tight trading. I mean, there's not much, much going on. And so it's really hard to trade these type of markets. And looking at Alcoa, it did come off green yesterday, didn't break above that 4085. So just keep an eye on this, okay? Because at some point it should break either higher or lower, and then it'll give us that trading opportunity. And looking at Microsoft did flake off yesterday to 287 from 289, 288-ish level. So yeah, did it sell off a little bit? Yes. Is it a big deal? No, because it's summer trading. So just keep that in mind. I'm being very facetious about it today because it's that just that type of environment. If we look at the VIX, I mean, we're at our lows here at 1547. Now jumping lastly into cryptocurrencies, we're going to look at uh, uh, Bitcoin right here at 45,000 did extend that rally. So that may be the ABC move that we were looking for, where I thought yesterday we were going to teeter off because we did have a little bit of resistance here. Now we are dead center at 46,633 was resistance and we did taper off since there about a thousand points. So with that said, just keep an eye on this. Okay. If it does break above 46,600 ish level, then we could see it back in the 50,000 level if it's holding above that 46K. So keep that in mind. However, if it doesn't and it does break lower, okay, we could definitely test this 39, 40,000-ish level retracement. So again, not much happening in the market today. Just be very, very cautious and be very selective about some of the um, particular uh, positions you take. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you all a great trading day. Thank you.